Carnival. Physics at play. The Moko Jambi. Forces in physics can be contact forces and non-contact forces. One of the major contact forces used by the Moko Jambi is that of friction. It is the force that opposes motion and we've noticed that the legs have rubber clogs to increase friction and reduce slippage of the Moko Jambi. As we look at the Moko Jambi move, we would notice that he takes larger strides so that he would increase the area of his base and make him more stable. By observing the Moko Jambi, you can see that Newton's third law of motion comes into play. If body A exerts a force on body B, then body B exerts an equal and opposite force on body A. We know this law simply in layman terms as for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The Moko Jambi drops back with his both legs on the ground. He angles the stilts forward with regards to positioning of his body to balance the force of his weight acting backwards. The steel pan is the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago and it produces a spectrum of sounds rich in overtones. An overtone is a frequency above the fundamental frequency of a sound. If struck gently, listeners hear a single pitch. If the pan is struck harder, listeners additionally hear overtones which give the impression that more than one instrument is being played. A skilled pan maker plays each note so that multiple variations of frequency can be audible. Reverberations on the pan can create vibrations from other notes on the pan, creating a blend of music unlike any other instrument in the world. Speaker. A loudspeaker is an electroacoustic transducer which converts electrical audio signal to sound waves. When a sound signal passes through a voice coil, a magnetic field is produced around the coil causing the diaphragm to vibrate. The larger the magnet and the voice coil, the greater the power and efficiency of the loudspeaker. As pulses of electricity pass through the electromagnetic coil, the magnetic field changes direction rapidly, causing the cone to vibrate. The cone structure amplifies these vibrations, pumps sound waves into the surrounding air and towards our ears, thereby allowing us to hear the sound. <laughs> Thank you.